like that. I like that smile. <laughs> Eric, 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 Eric D from Shea Eddy and other fantastically iconic locations in the city. Welcome to Gold Talks and thank you for letting us into your kitchen during Pleasure. a time of just absolute madness. Um, we're, we're thrilled to be here and you know we're very excited to have the dish that you're going to prepare part of this project that we're opening up to the public with some of you guys that are working just extremely hard to to keep going, to keep you know positive morale, to keep cooking, to keep your craft going. Um, so welcome and thank you very much for letting us be here with you. Thank us. you, my pleasure, Paul. Um, so look, so w w one of the things is this whole idea and the idea here is this conversation with you guys and, and the chefs and the owners and the restaurant businesses, how things are going, but at the same time, talking about food and some great ways to prepare some fun, easy, healthy dishes at home yep. that people can follow along with and purchase either in a grocery store or at a local market that's not going to be too, too expensive and very sort of easy to, to prepare for themselves, their family, that kind of thing, totally. right? So um, could you give us a little breakdown of what we're going to be doing here today and then we'll get into some other conversation really about you know yeah. how we're all getting along during this uh, pretty cuckoo time, <laughs> yeah? It's pretty simple. We're gonna cook a little pasta, like uh, fettuccine with roasted parsnip, a little bit of anchovy to give it a little kick, capers, lemon, cheese, a little butter to bound the all sauce, the, the the water, the pasta water cooking, to bind everything, and maybe a little splash of uh, roasted pecans Amazing. to give a little protein in the. Fantastic. That sounds delicious, first of all. And second of all, obviously, these are all items, as you just mentioned, that can totally be purchased just about anywhere, right? Easily, yeah, easily. Okay. Perfect. And it's it's parsnip. It's a pretty good vegetable uh, harvest here yeah. in Quebec and can rest for a year long. So it's pretty simple. A lot of sugar, a lot of perfume. Yeah. But kind of gives us a, gives us a little... The little oomph. The little oomph. Yeah. All right, it's amazing. So let's get going. Let's get started. Okay. We'll and then at the same time, um, I wanted to ask you for, for stuff like the parsnip and other vegetables. Are you buying local? Are you working with uh, local suppliers when you, obviously, when you're in operation? I mean, is, well, I know, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I know, yeah. I know exactly. That's the sort of. The, the thing is, is we're in Quebec. So the season of harvest are pretty small. So we try the most to. Uh, grab the most vegetables and meat from here. Mm -hmm. So that way we support our local growers. Yeah. And in the season like September, August, we buy a lot of vegetables, do canning so we can serve them in the winter. During the season, yeah, yeah. During the sort of the off, the more off times. Yeah, that's it. So the the parts that we're doing, you're doing it in, in chunks like that? I'm gonna do little cubes. Yeah. First step, nice slices. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna roast them. Let's take a bigger one. It's easy for us. So I, I cut a little uh, even part so yep. it's stable on the on the cutting board. Very smart. Because that's every time I try and cut a carrot, I don't ever think about it, and the thing goes flying all over, and I'm chopping away, and then it's, carrot it's just, could be dangerous. It's to a cut. dangerous yeah. thing. Dude. Yeah, the carrot's a dangerous thing. People don't realize. <laughs> I also shouldn't be cooking. So that's the other part of that whole that whole thing. So that's amazing. Okay, so you cut these up and then you make uh, strips, some nice strips and then, and then you do cubes. Little cubes. Amazing. Sorry. And then that's what's going to be uh, sauteed for whatever the amount of time is to... to yeah, we'll do sauteed. it together with a little bit of olive oil, salt, so we get a nice caramelization. Yeah. During the um, during this whole time that you've been um, sort of in operation as best as can be in, in the conditions that they've been in, like, have you been communicating with your customers? Have you been communicating with the sort of, uh, you know, the, the organization, just everybody out there in the community that's been taking, you know, that used to support you when you were open, but are now supporting you with takeaway and we, the other we, initiatives? We actually stopped our takeaway from uh, Tavern Atlantic because it was not busy enough to keep the wheel running and, right. and make it, I don't want to say worth it, but... It was hard. It's, it's, it's a hard stretch to be open the hours to sort of make it all accumulate dollar wise to the product and not lose waste and have That's somebody it. And, here. And, and the, the small, the small amount of marbles we have in the, in, in our bag, we should keep it for the, the reopening. I don't know when summer, spring. Sure. 
because I think the reopening will be like a new opening a new restaurant yeah. that doesn't exist. It build a new team, build maybe a part of the old team will be part of the the reopening and new do new prep and I think it's gonna take a, a little bit of an investment in money and time to reopen. Yeah. yeah. And and client support so like like you asked, clients support us by sending us messages saying that we're missing you guys, we're thrilled to come back and, and having a little drink with you staff and... Okay, so now you have all these beautiful cubes. Can I ask you, a, there's a little squeeze yeah. bottle on the side of the fridge yeah. that I, with olive, olive oil? Olive oil, look yes. at me, look at this. Thank you. I'm chefing, I'm chefing. <laughs> beautiful. Love it, so a uh, cover. Nice, nice amount of olive oil. Cover the bottom of the, the pot, yep. the pan, sorry. During that time, we can strain the capers. Okay. Like I said, we're gonna use anchovies. Right. All the products we're using, like parent stamp, you can use carrots if you want, sure. beets, yellow beets, red beets, could be celery ac. Okay. And if you don't like anchovies, you just can leave just out. leave it out. Right, so then that thing with a root vegetable or just something that has that sort of texture, right? Texture, the the, the 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 sweet from the those roots, restaurant and vegetables, and the uh, the hearty taste right. that we like in the in the winter. Now, when you're uh, when you're when you're doing them up in the olive oil, they're caramelized a little bit, right? Yeah. So you all the water's going to run out. Yeah. And the surface will be caramelized because the sugar right. of, right. the, of the the, of the, the vegetable. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Very nice. Our water. Now the, port, the yeah. now the portion of. Of food here that you're doing, this would be good for a family of uh, a four. Three, four, three, four, yeah. Like a small portion. The the boxes dry pasta are around a pound, mm -hmm. five hundred grams. That's a lot of pasta for for four people. I yeah. find myself. Yeah. So that's why here we have like two fifty, three hundred grams of pasta for four people. And, and again, and then why, why you're doing that is because you don't need as much pasta, but you have a nice sauce that's sort of that's that, it. That's where you get you're getting filled in with that stuff, right? Yeah. The uh, have you kept uh, close in touch with the crew? Because you're going to need to put a reinvestment right in your business. You're going to need to buy yeah. product. You're going to get people back on staff. You're going to reignite all the contracts that you have with different you know outside sources that sort of keep yeah. The full ecosystem uh, I, I, running. Let's say every two weeks, I, t I talk to my suppliers. Just hey, how are you? We're we're, we're waiting. What, what's any up? Day are now? you still alive? Are, are your business still alive? Not the people, yeah, not yeah. the, the, the people, <laughs> not, but not the, the business. Yeah. Uh, and same thing with the staff. We have I have on a messenger. I have groups of each team of yeah. each places, and I send a message. Hey guys, how are you those days? Who's in for long term, short term, part time, full time? So people answer me, oh, sorry, I start school, or new job, I find a new it. job closest to my place. I live in Dorval, so I find a place closest to my, yeah. fine. I, I, I can't. What I'll, can you expect? Yeah. I lost good key players, but at the same time, it's life and yeah. we have to, to deal with it. Because again, the industry itself has gone through this major sort of upheaval. I, I don't think there's one location or one person that we, we spoke to uh, that hasn't experienced sort of a major staff change in the fact that it's almost a year now. Yeah. By the time this show actually comes up, this, you know, this little, this little segment comes out, it'll be it past be year. that yeah. year. There is no way people could just sit around and wait. And so many people went on unemployment. So many people, you know, just changed their life. It's a, it's a fresh start. I don't want to say a fresh start because that sounds, it's more of a, it's a, a reopening. Yeah, it's a restart. Yeah. New staff. New ways of thinking, new just... And, and we, I'm just running through our menus and say, okay, when we're going to open back, are we going to supply all the menu we used to have like a year ago? You I don't, don't know. I don't want to pull, it. put everything we have as is a year ago by guessing, uh, distancing, less clients in the space. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because even when the things open back up, we're all very clear that it's not going to be business as usual. No, it's it'll probably be back to like when the when the pandemic was sort of at its beginning before the fifteenth waves. You know what I mean? No, but you know what I mean. Like it was probably good. it's probably going to be the two meter rule. That sort of fifty fifth, you know, yeah. half your restaurants is is movable and uh, is, is able to sort of operate, and the other half no go. So, yeah. so how long now uh, do you, is this saute go for? It's a pre personal preference. In cooking, 
A lot of people asking, how long you put this in the oven? How long you cook your steak? A lot of factor depends on how long you cook a steak, depending on the thickness, the pan. The uh, heat, everything. Yeah. Here, it depends on how much water is in the uh, vegetables. I just want, you, you, if, we, if you can see, there's already cubes Running. that roasting. Yeah. We're going to keep this roasting, roasting, roasting. The trick is don't shake it too much. You just want the, the, the cube to sit at the bottom of the pan and evaporate all the water so that after evaporating browning that water, it's browning. Yeah. Perfect. Well caramelized. Going to stop this for now. We're going to drop the pasta. Mm -mm -mm. So now this again, you're using a fettuccine and you're using one of those box sort of the, the fresh one that somebody can buy, but any pasta will go with this Any sauce, pasta. Anything. Short, yeah, long, yeah, yeah. homemade, fresh, dried. Okay. Those are dried with eggs in. So let's drop those. Mm -hmm. First, I forgot. Salt now some water. people, some people, just out of curiosity, some people boil and do olive oil with the pasta. Any difference? I'm not a big fan of putting olive oil on uh, water because it just when I'm gonna to the top and it yeah the pasta is gonna be covered with olive, olive oil because when you pull, pull it out, out yeah so your sauce won't stick to the That's pasta. Gotcha. Three four minutes. Yep. Here we stop this. We're gonna chop a little bit of garlic. Okay. I don't put the garlic at the beginning because it cooks too fast and or? it will it will be burnt once the uh, the uh, parsnips roasted well roasted. So, chop garlic. Nice and fine. Beautiful. Anchovy, let's say two filet. Okay. And again, like you said, if you don't like anchovies, no nope. thanks. All good. No problem. Yeah. So something I wanted to touch on with you is that you had brought up when you had spoken um, about your crew and the different crews that you're sort of talking to. 24 hours a day, it's day you, and night. You day see and them night. more oh, than your, your family. family. Yeah. Right. This is an ongoing, that's not new, right? Like no. this isn't a, this isn't, that's very clear. So are you checking in also on their mental health? It depends on each uh, individual. Each individual, because some are open to talk, some, oh, it's my boss, I don't want to give them those info. Others come stop by as a, Stop by at Henrietta, have a little coffee, or a little beer, and we, I think I helped them by just talking and what's up? What's happening with you? Right. Are you are you okay? You wanna? Yeah. Okay, so anchovies in, garlic's in. Yeah. We'll uh, tossing, check on pasta. Another minute, we'll be good. Can put a little nut of butter in there. Just to melt, melt it off. Can smell the anchovy, I guess. Yeah. Oh, you like anchovies? I love anchovies. Love it. So we but have, it's a particular taste for a lot of people. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's, it's, it's Man, you gotta be in We don't fish. have that term in French, but it's fishy. It's real fi It's like people that love cheese or can't handle a blue cheese. You know, like it's real yeah, cheesy. You're, you're in or, or you're not. You're in, no. you're, that's it. You're in <laughs> or you're not. <laughs> that's totally, you're totally in or you're not. So are there some best practices what I'm trying to say that you're going to keep with you moving forward, For different sure. product buys, you know, the whole thing. More local, the, the local thing when the government said, okay, use local, buy local. I'm trying right now to, when we reopen, work on a menu to be self-sufficient and be more uh, local. Yeah. Like we don't use to make the pasta, uh, the, the dough for the pizza at Atlantic. During that pandemic, I did tests. Yeah. So when we open, we'll do our own pa our own Your dough. Our own dough. Yeah. Huge. Even the pepperoni, we're working on a pepperoni. I'm curing uh, your stuff yeah, yourself. Yeah. It's also for the customer too. They must love that. Okay, so pasta out of the water and right into in the, the sauce. Okay, Always that? pasta in the sauce. Never sauce in the pasta. I love that. I love that. That's the trick, man. That's the top secret pasta, right? Yeah, because... Come on. Uh, well, because some people are always talking about how important it is not to lose all the water. Some of the water is important, right? Yeah, I'm you'll see. I'll, I'll put some water in the... Uh, 
in the pan. But there's a little bit of water on the... Uh, the pasta, the noodle the, itself. Yeah. And then you still take some of that because you want to keep some of that, right? Got it. For the thickening of the sauce, right? That's it. Okay. And that water will finish the cooking of the the vegetables and the pasta. Yeah. So we'll just bubbling a little bit of the liquid. Yeah. A little bit more capers. Okay. After that, we'll add a little parsley. Okay. Cheese. Yeah. I use pecorino. Okay. Could be manchego. Could be parmesan. Parmigiano Again, it's, what a, it, it's up to the uh, wh That's whatever it. you're up to. Yep. Very nice. I like the flip, man. I like the flip. You've been doing this a very long time. You've been in the industry for, for a long time. Is this something you learned from, from other chefs? Is there something you learned on travels? Is this a, uh, just something you came up with? Again, simple, but to the point. But again, there's always an origin story to, yeah. to, to, to dish. There, there's no specific origin, but it's a pasta we, we used to make at Basem, at okay. Basem Inn, just next to Dominion, yeah. that closed forever because of the pandemic. And I would just do a little pasta in remembering of uh, in reminder of in reminder of balsam. And it's it's pretty tough to do a nice spaghetti a tomato sauce in a restaurant and it tastes the same thing for years. Right. That's the toughest part. Sure. Then creating a dish for one day or one week. Right. You do it for a week. Oh, sure. Boom. You make the portions, whatever. So another question is the sauce that you had shown us the the the, the ingredients that we did. Yep. Uh, if we had wanted, if somebody wants to prepare, you know, like they got a family, they got a lot going on, can they do the sauce? I know you said put the pasta in with the water, yep. but could they have done the sauce, kept the pasta on the side and frozen a portion of that sauce and then brought totally. it back out during the week, yep. right? Yep. So like in that particular case, you'd put the noodle aside, you'd still use the water from the cooking to, to finish off the sauce like uh, as you've shown us, mm -hmm. and then they could freeze it uh, and then pull it out during the week, right? Totally. Yeah, because a lot of people, again, like I, we're learning and you're learning and during this time is if you're going to take the time to prepare the item uh, and a little bit of fresh food that you want to try and make some extra so you oh, can pull sure. it out to during the time. week yeah, to save yeah, time because sure. yeah, yeah. otherwise, dude, it's, it's next level, right? A little trick when you do your sauce with the vegetables and the capers and the anchovies, yeah. if you have a little bottom of white wine, just delays a bit. Yeah. Keep reduced by half, put it in your containers and then freeze it. So you have a little bit of liquid to bind your pasta when you got. Can you use if you're if you if you're not using wine, is there something else water. you can use? Just water. Yeah. Okay, so it's the liquid that's not to even help. apple juice, let's say. Oh yeah? Yeah. For the sweetness factor? Yeah, with the parsnip it's good. Apple and parsnip. Okay, tastes good. good. Very cool. Is there uh, something that you're hoping um, when things get reopened? Uh, that you see from the public that will sort of surprise you? Like, are you hoping everybody's going to come back at full force? You think people are going to be nervous about it? You think, uh, you know, like, what, what's your pulse? What do you feel is going to happen moving forward? I think people are going to be thrilled to go back in places like bars and restaurants and terrace and yeah. for sure there will be specific protocols because of course we not we, we didn't get rid of that virus yet yeah so uh people will be happy we'll we're waiting we're thrilled too to get clients and please them and be make, back in that yeah, situation yeah because sure. it's <laughs> it's in your dna yeah that's it gotcha. we're missing that so that's amazing so now we've added in the ground pepper ground pepper a little bit of lemon juice right. Some a little cheese. kick chop parsley don't chop your parsley too too thin okay because it won't stick, it's gonna stick in your between your teeth. Amazing! It's fantastic. There you go. All right, and it looks like we're ready to eat this thing, huh? Yeah. And put okay, this in a plate. Yeah, let's get this in a plate and try it. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Amazing! This looks fantastic. Thank I can't you. wait to try it. Uh, I gotta ask you, what's going on here? Just a pizza stand. A pizza stand. Tavern Athletic. We do pizza. Okay. And small tavern table, pints. Yeah. Your phone, your. Yeah. You don't just have enough. Room. Just enough room. You don't have room for a pizza. You put right. a twelve inch pizza. You're. You're done. You're done. So we yeah. create a stand. To put <laughs> Look at this. Your here. pizza on it. The frisbee. Amazing. Yeah. This is fantastic. 
People can eat and grab some stuff That's like this. It. You're good to go. All right, Keep so we gotta your... we gotta try this thing, right? Yeah. So it's fantastic. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Again, you know, good luck with everything. We can't wait to get open. The restaurants can't wait to get open. Public can't wait to get involved. You know, like people sure. are going totally crazy, right? For sure, people are trill. Vegetarian. And again, if you don't want the fish in there, you don't have to put it. If you want to go vegan, you don't have to use the cheese. So you're, a, right? Good trick for cheese. Nutritional yeast. Yeah. Instead of the cheese. Yeah. Gives the same feeling. That same texture. Of, uh, MSG kind of. Right. That thick, grows that on you thickness, and yeah, yeah. yeah. There's also I've seen some stuff with like cashews, uh, like crushed yeah. up, like mm -hmm. they create the same thing. Dude, this, this one is... I finish it with a few pecans, right? Rub with uh, cumin and uh, smoked paprika. And so with those pecans, you had just taken them, you had put on some of that shake, and then you baked them in the oven. My trick is you take your nuts, you're roasted, mm -hmm. and then after that, once they're cool, you just take a uh, egg white, yeah, little um, oh yeah, little froth, yeah. Throw your pecans in, toss them, yep. then you put whatever spices you want. Smoked and paprika, that, cumin, salt, the, sugar. The stickiness. Yeah, and after that, you put it back in the oven for five minutes. So the yolk, the, not the yolks, but the whites cooks. Yeah. Give it a little crunch on the nuts. And it's good and, and healthy and safe and it's got that's everything. It. Dude, man, thank you so much for talking My with pleasure. us. You know, we can't wait for your staff to get back into it and everybody stays uh, healthy and safe. And man, we'll get open as soon as possible, yeah? Oh, yeah. We thank will. you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.